A question of character. Witness these servicemen. They are dedicated. They are useless. America does not need them. America needs bad dudes. Blade. Striker. Twins with the only differential distinction being pants. The moves. Identical. The arts. Martial. The phrase. Bad. I'm bad! Yes, you are. You both are. But bad dudes only express themselves in a singular fashion. Their blows are incredibly powerful. One hit incapacitates the common man. Gah! Blade and Striker both incorporate the art of offensive dance. Entertaining. Lethal. Passive elbow. The incredible helicopter kick. The twirls of a master. The attitude of a dude. And the flame fist. The bad dudes fill their spirit with the power of dude. Dude. And punch with an ignited fist. Take that, woman. Bad dudes view criminal ninja women as equals. Blade and Striker rarely speak, usually only to express their badness and to grunt. It takes effort to be a bad dude. Ninja related crimes seize New York, such as presidential kidnapping, a crime only a ninja would commit. Cities become battlefields, heroes become wicked men, evil. Carnal, episode 37. And Ronnie is kidnapped. The Secret Service does not seek pitiful militant servicemen. They seek dudes. Bad dudes. Are they a bad enough dude to rescue Ronnie? I'm bad! Does that answer your question? Yeah! They are also bad enough to stab a man as he exhales his final breath. I'm bad! They are bad enough to dance kill in the sewer. I'm bad! All Blade and Striker are concerned about is their rate of badness. The bad dudes are not policemen. No. They are not covert agents. No. They are regular people. People adverse to ninja-related crimes. Motorcycle gloves and Converse sneakers are standard bad dude attire. Scruffy brunette warrior hair flows upon their heads and the aforementioned parachute pants. Blade and Striker fight atop moving semi-trucks and moving trains. The bad dudes are wind resistant, but not street resistant. Ouch! They have six units of fighting power, more than enough to fight felonious ninja. The bad dudes wear tight black form-fitting ninja beaters, providing little protection. Slight brushes with people severely injure the bad dudes. The bad dudes hate ankle-high sewer water. It is incredibly painful. Ouch! As well. Bad dudes never block. Bad dudes only attack constantly. And if a bad dude falls, a bad dude will rise again from the glorious sky. The bad dudes believe in staying healthy and fit and to replenish their depleted energy. There is nothing healthier than canned soda pop. Cola is the source of nutrition that bad Bad dudes crave. They face a treacherous force. Dragon Ninja. Luckily, they have weapons. Their weapons. Blade and Striker steal the knife for Nunjaku, attacking the lawless ninja that travel via compact car, blocking shurikens with knives or their bare kick, defeating anything that is bad except themselves. Because the bad dudes are not actually bad, they are good but bad. Power. Excellent. One blow kills the regular enemy, no matter how light the jab. And their persistence guarantees numerous ninja death. Defense. Moderate. The bad dudes will take many hits and fall many times, but they will never give up. Still, they may have wanted to at least bring a shirt. Agility. Excellent. Bad dudes perform elegant somersaults upon urban railing. True parkour masters. And their strikes are lightning fast. Grade B. It is undetermined if the bad dudes are paid for their efforts, but that does not matter. The praise from their unworthy peers and the president is enough as well. They are paid in hamburgers. Next episode, he's full of heady goodness. Quest with me, learn with us, enrich your mind, empower your anchor like our material, subscribe to our page, put character into question, return every Monday for more. A question of character.